Hi, it's Miracle Abundance and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day one year ago versus one week ago. And yeah, so today I want to talk to you about... Actually, I had a breakthrough on the weekend and that is really big for me because I realized I'm not even like I'm not even scared of meat anymore. You will see in a few seconds like or like in a minute when I show you what I ate a week ago that I you know I, I had the meat we had some curry sausage in David's family and it was just like the epiphany for me <laughs> a revelation um, that like I was not scared of that like no, no more scared of that than of the tofu sausage i could have just eaten the tofu sausage no difference to just have eaten the uh, meat sausage um but i want to tell you here about what i ate a year ago here what you see on the screen it's the muesli bar a power bar which you know it's super dense just yeah also with a lot of sugar and yeah even just having a snack was a big deal for me um as you know the eating disorder always tells you you don't have to just wait for the next meal <laughs> and while you're seeing this meal that i've talked a lot about already i'm going to ramble on about yeah further about the breakthrough that i had on the weekend you will see the footage later um so it just really blew my mind because when I entered recovery, real recovery, and first ate meat, it was like the scariest thing ever. And of course, ethically, it really hurt my heart. It still hurts my heart. And so this is such a joy for me to notice that I'm not even scared of it anymore. So I know that it's just a matter of time when I can go back to being a vegan and, you know, just I don't have to eat the meat anymore in order to recover because I am fully free of that fear. You see here a snack that I had a year ago, a bread with vegan cheese, um, uh, the real cheese or the cow cheese would have been off limits for me and like ethically it always was off limits for me, it still is, um, but ethically I also had to recover and also have to recover from the restrictive eating disorder which is how you can always also make the world a better place not only by saving the animals and which brings me back to the topic because i am so just so full of joy that i can at one point go back to also you know just living according to my ethical values um because now I am still eating meat just to make sure because you know what the eating disorder wants to do is just to completely like immediately go back to vegan and like no oh, just the, the extreme kind of reaction that is typical for the eating disorder and that is exactly what I will not do I will make sure that I'm just gonna keep on eating animal products just for some time until I can be 100% completely sure um, but for me it's just that it's just a matter of time which just makes me so so happy um, so this is what I eat now it's one week ago this was in the morning before we went to the train it's a wannabe banana milk <laughs> with chocolate oats with real chocolate in there um, and a cafe latte also had some extra barista soy oat milk there um, i always add some kind of nuts in the oats as well and they are super thick very dense you know just minimal water added um, nothing compared to the oats that I had before. You see here the landscape, the nature of our hometown, like close to there. Super nice. We drove by car there after the train. And then we prepared a, a lunch together. Um, we actually cut a salad and then we had curry sausage like um there were also tofu sausages this is the sauce and you can see here 
um, cold and all of these kinds of condiments and also had french fries they were deep fried <laughs> i had half of a normal sausage and this tofu sausage and that is <laughs> this is actually me <laughs> riding a cat car Oh, I had so much fun. Enjoy some slow motion stuff. I just had so much fun uh, because this was actually the first weekend, no, one of the first weekends, but the weekend where I felt it the most, how much progress I've made and how recovered I already am. Um, there's not much missing or lacking until I'm fully recovered because I just feel how I'm so fully present. It's just food doesn't scare me at all, no matter what it is. Like I could, someone could give me anything and it wouldn't mess up my day at all. Um, and so this was just, it, it just really made me notice how, how much my relationships are benefiting from my recovery. <laughs> Look at the jokes I'm making here trying to be cool but you know just having fun i i felt so relaxed <laughs> oh i kind of modeling um this was a muesli i had after that no one else was actually eating something only me it doesn't matter i do my thing um i had some some from from a milkery there from the hometown um some quark and yogurt and there's walnuts and peanuts in there and lots of raisins and like seeds and nuts and muesli and then some tangerine and frozen blueberries and white chocolate on top and cinnamon and some yogurt this was the second bowl of the blueberries and so that is also such a great thing that i was just able to do it just and no one else was doing it um so this was normal cheese and uh, like lettuce and also had some red wine which i never used to do and some salty sticks later i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next video bye